Kyle yeah. said you have one of your best friend blocking games. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about how that worked out for you? Um, I mean, run blocking, I think, is mostly effort. I mean, there's technique to it, whether it's your hands or your steps. But, um, you know, I think me and uh, McGlinchey did a great job all day controlling the edges. Um, and when you have a running back running like Raheem did, you know, attacking the aiming point and slashing off the helmet uh, made it pretty easy on me. So just, uh, you know, it's a good day to run block. Was that hard for him to do, given the conditions to attack a point and then cut like that? Uh, actually, I thought the field was inc uh, held up really, really well. Uh, I, you know, I didn't. I don't think I slipped once. Um, so I, mean, I think it was just a normal game for Raheem, and you know, he's the surf guy, so yeah. he handled it pretty well. <laughs> I know you'd enjoy playing football anywhere at yeah. any time, but how, how much do you like these big games with lots of meaning for the postseason and all that kind of stuff? Uh, I mean, they're fun. It, like, um, it just—it's an opportunity for us to, you know, prove the football team that we are. Um, and you know, anytime you get that opportunity, it's pretty fun. You know, I think we're a pretty good football team, and, and unfortunately, we didn't get done last week. But this is another opportunity for us to go into someone's, you know, house and, you know, try to leave with a win. And that's a, what our goal is this week. What, what can those experiences, like last week, the week before, how can, how can that help you when you get into the next one? Oh, I mean, <clears throat> you're either learning from, you know, a loss um, or not. And I think this team really handled, as I handled loss really well, bounced back. You know, got through the film. Um, I don't think we had to do too much looking at ourselves in the mirror. I think we understand the team that we are and the effort and you know, that we have to practice with, you know, the intensity that we have to bring. And, um, you know, the game Sunday was a good game, and I think we're just looking forward to being back on the field. George, how much have you gotten to know Emmanuel Sanders since he's been here? Oh, a lot. Uh, you know, it was fun. I kind of met you. We have the same marketing guys, and so I've met him before in the off season. Uh, so I knew him a little bit. The Denver practices got to meet him a little bit more. But, you know, since he's been here, uh, he's an incredible addition for us. You know, he's a great guy in the locker room. Um, really good leader, talks to the young guys. He's just fun to have around. He's, you just see his energy on the field too every time he steps on it, whether it's practice or in the game where he's dancing after a first down. He's the same guy every single day, which is all you can ask for. Have you talked to him at all? Right? He was talking about how he's been talking to the, the younger receivers mm -hmm. who haven't experienced you know, important games in December and playoff football. Have you had that conversation with him yet? I have not yet. Um, no, I, that's a good idea. I probably will have that conversation with him. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, he's a guy, he's done it before, he's won a Super Bowl, um, he's been in the big time games, and so uh, definitely a guy that you know you could not talk to enough. Was, uh, nice. Was this past game a little harder? What? Was, yeah, <laughs> only got 30 seconds here. Was this a harder game to recover for you, just considering the workload you had and after the time off you had? Uh, I don't know, I always feel terrible till Thursday, so I'll, I'll ask me again tomorrow and I'll let you know. <laughs> can you can you compare it to how you guys were feeling after week one? You were on, on the East Coast. You stayed in Youngstown. Mm -hmm. it seemed like this, the energy today is, is as good as it's, it's going to be. Oh, 100 percent. I mean, we're in a beautiful place. Uh, it's Florida. Weather's beautiful. Um, you know, we're just having a good time, and the facilities are fantastic. So, you know, and you know, it's it's just. We're handling the, the trip well, and I think Cincinnati and that whole young son prepared us for this, so we all know what to expect. And uh, I think it's just the team has grown throughout the year, and we're just ready for this experience. What's, what do you focus on during the week when it comes to dealing with the elements of, of the atmosphere that the Superdome is going to provide? Uh, well, I went to WrestleMania there two years ago, so that had I think they sat like an extra like twenty thousand people, right, Cheese, something like that. He went with me. It was awesome. Uh, but so yeah, that was pretty loud when like the Undertaker came out. So I'm expecting to be like that the entire game, um, and so I'm just looking forward to it. It's going to be a, an absolute blast. So you feel adapted, you know, like about the yeah. I mean, yeah, definitely. You know, championship belt and WWE football, same thing, I guess. Sure. <laughs> you say you don't feel like when you help until Thursday. Is that part of it? The injuries or just in general? Oh no, it's just playing football. Uh, you, know, you get your legs back, you get massages and stuff done Mondays and Tuesdays. It just takes your body a day or two to get back from that. And no, that's, that's typical for me. Uh, are there intangible things that Joe can bring back to the huddle, particularly in an environment like this you're going to face? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think Joe, Joe and me are pretty similar in the huddle, um, but he definitely understands the game. I mean, he's been doing it for so long. Um, you know, it's just nice to have his voice back, whether he's calling out personnel, like what defense they are bringing in. Um, I think one of my favorite things about him, like sometimes he'll be like, hey, I want to go on two on this play. I want to, you know, a dummy count, stuff like that. And sometimes he'll call that. And it's just kind of nice to have, you know, when you have a, a vet like that and a legend like that to be doing stuff. It's just, you know, a guy that you look up to. It's, it's, it makes football pretty easy. So you kind of looked forward to going against 99 last week. Who are you looking forward to going against Oh, I love Cam Jordan. Um, I got to meet at the Pro Bowl. He's an awesome dude. We're actually we we're like roommates next to each other uh, in Orlando. So he's a good dude. I keep in contact with him the whole season, and he's so much fun to watch. And he wrecked havoc last Thursday. So I'm looking forward to be able to compete with one of the best. All right. Thanks, George. Thanks, George. Thanks,